We're about to find the real zeros of a polynomial using a graphing utility. Now, you could use graphing calculator. I'm going to use Desmos because it's uh, a website and you can just go there and you don't need to, to purchase anything. And we're going to go ahead and look at the graph. Now, I've already typed this into Desmos. Again, you go to desmos.com and then click graph to get to here. So I have the equation in here. Here's the graph. You can zoom out. You can see the end behavior. It's odd, so it's going to be up, down, and this one goes down on the left, up on the right. What we want to look at are the x-intercepts. Now, it's pretty clear that we have one at 5 here. Now, I'm on a computer, so I can click with a mouse. If you're on a tablet, I think if you touch the uh, intersection point, it should label it. So I got 5, 0. And let's go back here. x-intercepts. I'm going to write it as x equals 5 as our first one. That's the x value where it crosses. Of course, the y value is 0. The next one is 2.732. And then the last one is over here. And it is, make sure, don't click near it. You need to make sure your y coordinate is zero. So this would not, this is not the x-intercept here. The x-intercept is, well, anyways, it's right there. Make sure you got a zero as your y coordinate. Not a number close to zero, but actually zero. So we got negative 0 0.732. All right, so these are the x-intercepts. Now, each of these correspond to a factor. So the factor is x minus that number. So that will be x minus 5. Right here, the factor is x minus 2.732. And the last factor, now you could write this as minus a negative. 0.732. And of course, if you subtract a negative, you actually get a plus here. So these are the factors. Uh, this question asks for the solutions, which are the x values that make it zero. So I actually had those written down way earlier. So these three numbers right here are going to be the solution. Uh, and if the instructions were to factor it, this would just be a product of these factors. So that would be factored form. There's a one, an invisible one in front of the x cubed. And that mean there's a one in front. Of course, you don't need to write the one. Uh, but just in case, sometimes there could be maybe a, a three in front of that as a leading coefficient. And in that case, you would have a three in front here.